Thanks. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Scott Tagliata, Marketing Director here at Unico, and what I want to talk about in this video is how to select the parts you need for your latest Unico system project. This should be a simple, straightforward task, and we're going to try to make it that way today. When you are considering a Unico project, here's the things you need to think about. What size is it? What unit of ours do you need to match that size? You need to select a blower. You need to select what kind of coil you're going to use. If you want a hydronic option, which is hot water heating, do you want backup resistance heating? Are you going to put the unit in horizontal as it comes, or are you going to need to make it vertical? What sort of return air selection do you want? What sort of main trunk off of the air handler will you have? You got some choice there. And then how many pieces of flexible supply tubing and outlets are you going to need to finish the project. And then after that, we have a host of other options you can consider, but you don't need to do. Okay? Let's start at the top. The Unico makes five different sized units. A one to one and a half ton, that's our 1218 range. A two to two and a half ton is our 2430 range. A two and a half to three ton is our 3036 range. A three to three and a half ton is our 3642 range. And the four to five ton is our 4860 range. Five sizes, five units. When you select a blower, you want to select either a standard speed, which is our traditional blower. Most of you have installed Unico before, probably put this one in. Matches up with everybody's outdoor unit on the market today. Or you may choose to upgrade slightly in price and put in our ECM. Now that's a variable speed motor the, uh, which, with lots of features and benefits. It's a little bit higher price, but it's well worth it, and it's great for those high-efficiency two-stage outdoor units. The, um, we strongly urge you to take a look at our I-Series blower. The I-Series matches up with the I-Series outdoor unit, which is a full inverter product and a multi-split, and there's a great range of options there. Your local Unico expert can explain that one to you, but you choose one of these three. Now for this application today, we chose the standard speed blower. This is what it looks like. You've probably all seen this before. And our control box comes with it in this module when it's packed up and shipped to you from the factory. All right. The, in terms of coils, the, there's a whole range of options, but most people will look into either air conditioned with refrigerant, so it's AC, or they're looking to put in a heat pump coil that does both heating and cooling from refrigerant. We're going to assume that that's the option today, in which case you would use the M24 CL1-E, that's our heat pump coil, in the 2430 range. All right. Now, you may want to add hot water heating because there's an existing boiler and you can do an extra floor, you can do, um, uh, you can do, do a great job heating in some places with the heat pump three quarters of the year, but that cold, cold months, you want to have the boiler, you can have the boiler feed our 2430. If you wanted to add that, it adds right onto the back of the Unico. And the number there is an M2430 CL1-H for hot water. All right. If you just want it to be a heat pump and you want it to heat in the winter time, you probably want to have some backup heat so when the system goes into defrost, you'll be able to, uh, to have heat and you make sure it won't lock out. If you do that, you add a heat module, a, 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 a hot air furnace, and this is a five kilowatt range. We have them from two to 10 kilowatts in action. So that's an easy one to choose there. All right. The, you may want to use the unit in vertical mode going up. So vertical up mode, 
in which case you need a vertical conversion kit. That would be UPC 63A. It's, it's a couple of pieces of metal and insulation to allow you to turn the unit very easily into vertical mode. All right, you'll certainly want a return air option with your unit. The, if you're going to go that route, you'll need a return air grill and filter. That's this right here. All right. the, you'll need a return air duct, which is right here, comes in 12 full feet. And then you'll also need a transition off of the coil, and it's all wrapped and it comes with a binding strap as well. So it all comes together in its own box. Three parts gives you complete return air. And then on the main trunk, you have some options and you'll supply this yourself from your existing supplier. But you can use 7 inch, 9 inch, or 10 inch, or their rectangular and square equivalent. So you can use 7 inch round, or the equivalent in square, or the equivalent in rectangular to take care of your 1218 units. If you're installing a 2430, a 3036 or a 3642, you can use a 9 inch round or its square or rectangular equivalent. And if you're putting in a 4860, which is our 4 to 5 ton, the, you can use a 10 inch round or its equivalent in square or rectangular. Very simple. Three main trunk sizes. The, here's what our, our round main trunk looks like. This is our nine inch, nine inch metal wrapped with insulation sleeve. Finally, you want to have our flexible supply tube, which is this. Okay, it comes in 12 foot legs. And then all the parts to go from that main trunk, here you are, to the finished outlet in the room, and all the parts in between. It all comes in a single box, the tube and all those parts, the, and it's called the UPC 80M1. M stands for metal duct. All right, you need a minimum of six outlets per ton. So if you're doing a 2430, that's a two ton. You would need at least 12 outlets, 12 supply tubes, and the parts to link them together from the main trunk, and all of them come in this single kit. It's an easy way to go. Other options, you may have a project that's chilled water. We can accommodate it. We have a chilled water coil. You may only want to use your hot water boiler to make heat with the system, no air conditioning, no heat pump. We have a hot water coil, no problem. We'll actually um, be able to show that to you. We have a range of thermostats, or you can use any thermostat or, or smart control that you want, including the most up-to-date uh, Nest or, or Ecobee thermostats. And then you might want to put some add-on projects, a humidifier or a dehumidifier, enhanced filtration on the air side if, if somebody in your household has asthma, so on and so forth. We can accommodate all of that. It's very easy to do. And many of you will supply your own secondary drain pan, or we also can, uh, can provide you one from Unico. So, I want to put together a 2432 ton installation kit from Unico. Here I am with my blower, one blower, one heat pump coil, one return air box with grill and filter, one return air duct, one return air adapter that goes from the coil to that duct and at least 12 of these single install kits that includes your tubing and your outlets.
It's that simple to create a material list with Unico. The, and I also strongly urge you to look at our Unico selection guide, which helps you walk through this process on paper or online. It takes you five minutes to create a material list. Thanks.